So let's see this trick. First of all, I am taking 1, 2, 9, 9, 6. Now see, I will divide this number into two parts. First three digits and the last two digits. The last two digits are 96. The number is ending with 6. Whenever a number ends with 6, the square root of that number ends with two possible digits. And those two digits are either it is a 4 or it is a 6. And we will have some number in front of this. So the number that means the square root of 12996 will either end with 4 or end with 6. Why? It is because the square of 4 is 16 which ends with 6 and the square of 6 is 36 which again ends with 6. So you need to be well aware of this fact. So we will have two possible answers and what is the remaining part of the answer? The remaining part of the answer fortunately will be same in both the cases. So we will have only two options out of which we have to choose one to get the correct answer. What is the other part? Now see the triplet 1 to 9. 1 to 9 just find a perfect square which is just below 1 to 9. And you will be able to find that only if you are aware of square numbers from 11 to 20. What is 11 square? 11 square is 121. But 12 square, it crosses 129. So which is the perfect square below 129? It is 11 square, 121. So 11 is the remaining part of the answer. So our answer is either 114 or 116. So how much time you are going to take to guess these two? I think 3 to 4 seconds and in the next step you will have your answer. We will have to choose between 114 and 116. For that you need to know one more concept of squaring which I have posted already on the channel. Very famous trick of finding the squares of number ending with 5. So 114 and 116 in between this, we have 115. Always take the middle number ending with 5. Whatever options you get, take the number ending with 5 which lies between the two numbers. I will demonstrate it here also. 115 square. Now how do you find 115 square orally? So this method which I am demonstrating is actually a 3 in 1 trick. This is yet another shortcut. Just forget 5. What number is there here? 11. Multiply 11 by its successor. 11 into 12. 12 into 11, ti 11 times. If you do 12 into 11, it will uh, be 132. So 132 and end the answer with 25. You get the square of 150. Very, very easy method. You just need to know the table of 12. 11 multiplied by its consecutive 12. 11 to 12 is 132 and whenever the number ends with 5, the square ends with 25. So the square of 115 is 13225. And now we will have our answer. Just observe this number 12996 and this number 13225. This number is smaller than 13225 and if this number is smaller than this, our answer is above this arrow. So 114 is our answer. Suppose this number would have been more than 13225, then our answer would have been below the arrow. So only one possible answer, 114. Pick up your calculators and check. 114 multiplied by 114 is equal to. You will get the answer 12996. So at first it might look little bit lengthy, but Subsequent examples, you are going to feel very, very comfortable. Let's see. 16129. Now see 161 and 29. Now it is ending with 9. So our answer will end with either 3 because 3 into 3 is 9 or 7 because 7 into 7 is 49 ending with 9. Now what is the next balance part? 161. What is the perfect square below 161? 
it is 12 square 144 because 13 square is 169 which is above 161 so 12 square means 12 is the remaining part so either our answer is 123 or 127 and what is the intermediate number it is 125 how do you square this 12 into 13 now you need to multiply 12 by 13 13 into 12 is 156 and follow it by 25 compare these two numbers 16129 is greater than this so our answer is below the arrow that is 127 what's this method and i am sure you are going to feel comfortable by this method very very soon let's see the third example here we have the number ending with 4 so our answer will either end with 2 because 2 into 2 is 4 or our answer will end with 8 because 8 into 8 is 64 which ends with 4 what is the balance number 174 so 13 square is 169 but 14 square is more than 174 so 13 is the remaining part so our answer either it is 132 or 138 now take the intermediate number 135 you need to multiply 13 by its successor 14. 14 is a 42. So 14 was a 14, 182. And you have 25. Now observe this number. It is smaller than this. So our answer is the smaller one that is above the arrow. So 132 is the square root of 17424. Isn't it amazing? Little bit of practice is required to master this. Let's see more examples. Now see ending with 5, very comfortable here because in case of numbers ending with 5, we have only one option that is 5 itself. But in other digits, we have two options. So here we have only one option, so our answer will come out directly. 210, which is the perfect square below 210, it is 14 square 196 because 14 square is 196 and 15 square is about that 225. So we have to take the smaller one. So 14 is the balance part, thereby giving you the answer 145. Only one option in this case. So all numbers ending with 5, 5 digit numbers, the square root can be found out virtually orally. Let's see another one ending with 9 again. So just like here, answer will end with either 3 or 7. 234, now we need to check 14 square is Okay, 15 square is 225, which is just below this. So 15 is the remaining part. Now take the intermediate number 155 square. So 15 multiplied by its successor 16. 16 by the 80. So this is 240. So 240 followed by 25. Now observe that this number is smaller than this. So our answer is the smaller one, 153. Let's see more examples. 56. So just like this question, this is ending with 6. So our answer will either end with uh, 4 or end with 6. 275, we have already taken 15 square as 256. Do you know what is 16 square? This is, okay, uh, 17 square is 289. This is above 275, so it has to be 16, 256. So 16 is the remaining part. So either the answer is 164 or the answer is 166. Take the intermediate number 165 square. 16 multiplied by its successor 17. 17 into 6 is 102. 17, 27. So 2, 7, 2 and follow it by 25. And now look at this number. This is greater than this. So our answer is the greater one that is below the arrow 166. Three more examples. This number is ending with 4. So the answer will end with 2 or it will end with 8. Now we have already done up to 16 square. 17 square is 289. 18 square is 324. So 324 is greater. So we have to take 17 square. So 17 is the remaining part. Take the intermediate number 175 square. So you have to multiply 17 by its successor 18, 8 7 is 56, 8 plus, 8 plus 7 15 plus 5 20, 306, so 306 and 25. Now compare these two numbers, this is greater, 
So our answer is the greater one that is below the arrow 178. Let's have the next one ending with 1. When it ends with 1, our answer either ends with 1 or ends with 9 because 1 into 1 is 1, 9 into 9 is 81, ending with 1. Now 327, we, I already told you 18 square is 324, it is just below 327, so it has to be 18 here. So answer is either 181 or 189, take the intermediate number 185. How do you find the square of 185? Multiply 18 by 19. So 9 into 72, 9 plus 8 is 17 plus 7 24, 342 and then ending with 25. Compare these two numbers, this is smaller, so our answer is the smaller one, 181. Last one, ending with 9, so if it ends with 9, answer will end either with 3 or the answer will end either with 7. Now see this number 372. 19 square is 361, so it has to be 19 here, so either the answer is 193 or 197, take the intermediate number 195 square, 19 into 20 is 380, follow it by 25, compare these two, this is smaller, so our answer has to be smaller, that is 193. Friends, just watch how this trick is working for all numbers up to 40,000. Be beyond 40,000, you need to be aware of the squares of numbers from 21. That is, see, I am taking squares of 17, 18, here I have taken, taken the squares of numbers up to 19. So, for if you go beyond 40,000, then the squares of numbers from 20, 21, 22 up to 29 are required to solve for the number.